Hello friends. Silly moustache here. I have four guitars here which will appear in the video at various times but um, I'm going to talk not about the guitars but about these things, the strings. And this is in response to a number of uh, posts on various forums that I've seen asking about different aspects of the guitar strings. What should I use? What would be the best? Uh, what gauge? What brand? Uh, how long will they last? All that sort of thing. And I'm going to make an analogy. I'm going to compare your guitar or guitars with your car or cars and the strings on them with the tires on your guitars. Now, if you want to um, get the most mileage, satisfaction, safety and um, trade-in price um, for your car, you keep it clean, you keep it serviced, you replace parts as and when necessary and you put the, the good parts on it rather than cheap price uh, or used parts and things like that. And, um, and with your tyres you keep an eye on them you don't um you don't um drive your car at high speeds or in difficult places with bald or very worn tires you keep a check on when they're worn when they're not responding well and um, if they're damaged and you replace them yeah so the strings are your tires on your guitars which are your cars that's the analogy um the other aspect about your car, or your vehicle I should say, is where well, you're going to drive it. You're going to drive it down to the supermarket on Saturday mornings and nothing else. Um, your car won't do much mileage, won't get very warmed up, but it'll last a lot longer. And it's, it's the, uh, the mileage, not the age, as they say. And, um, and the tyres uh, will not wear out, but they might rot or go off in other ways. Um, if you're doing climbing up a mountain or you're, you're doing a lot of off-roading or something like that, tyres will suffer more wear. Um, and I'd equate that with a guitar that you, uh, you go out and gig every night. And um, the rocky roads with um, maybe things like uh, uh, hot, sweaty conditions or um, freezing cold conditions or extremes little rule of thumb basically if you're not comfortable in that environment neither is your guitar and certainly not your strings as to the age how long can you keep a tire on a car i don't know but i do know that um uh, the age of a set of strings for most people and i'm thinking about people that i know and myself um, the optimum age for a set of strings could be somewhere between one hour and one year. Now that's not very helpful, is it? I have two friends that have very acid body chemistry and if they play ordinary, perfectly good, uncoated guitar strings, they can kill them dead, literally, in an hour. I've actually seen it happen, and once on one of my guitars. Um, on the other hand, I have a double O guitar uh, that I've used in previous video videos that sits up on the wall in my little office upstairs in an extremely consistent temperature and relative humidity. The strings I put on it, the strings I take off of other guitars. When I change the strings on this guitar, I take them off and I put them on that double O. Um, and I believe that those strings are about one year old. Maybe one year and two months. Um, and sound perfectly well on that guitar. But it doesn't get a lot of use. Um, generally speaking, I'm, I'm not gigging and I'm not playing every day. Sometimes I don't play for two or three days and I have more than one guitar as you've probably realised. Um, I tend to change the strings on my flat tops about every two to three months 
uh, with my 12 strings maybe every three to four months now. It used to be a month sooner, but I've stretched that out because my playing is less. Um, my arch tops, I play them even less, and I guess I keep the strings on them about somewhere between three and six months. Um, mandolin, um, about the same, three to six months. And uh, this guitar, which is my national, I use medium gauge, come to gauges in a moment. Um, also about every six months. Uh, let's talk about um, gauges first of all. I use medium gauge strings on my dreadnoughts, 56 to 13, although I use 12 and, 7, uh, 12 and 16 light gauge strings on the unwound strings. This is because most of my guitars are Collings, which have that balanced sound, and they don't really need the strength of the um, of the 13 and 17 coming through. So I, I find a, a better balance. For me, personally, is with mediums, 56, and light gauge trebles. I may change that. On my jumbo, I use um, the same strings, 56 to 13s, I don't feel the need to change them. That's a Santa Cruz Jumbo. And on my National, which I also often use used strings, medium gauge again. Um, I don't know what I'm using that for. Um, but I use uh, a 17 on the first string. and a 17. I have plenty of them left over. Uh, I use medium gauge on my Dobro, um, but I use 1616 on the first and second. Uh, on my triple O, I use light gauge, that's 12 to 53. Um, Same on my Waterloo, short scale, 12 fret, L00 style, and my uh, British made 0028. Um, what else do I do? Oh, 12 strings. I have two 12 strings. This is my Martin, I also have a Harmony. I use EJ37s on this one. Phosphor bronze, um, medium gauge, I guess, uh, 54, 30, 12, 12, but I tune it down one tone to D. Uh, the same with the harmony, although I prefer Martin bronze on that, M190s, I believe, um, just because they sound a little bit more jangly, which is really, you know, part of the nature of an old 60s um, harmony. Um, which brings me on to brands. Uh, the, the folk on the Collins forum uh, tend to prefer John Pierce strings. I tend to prefer Dario. although recently I have been experimenting with Martin Acoustic SPs. I've tried loads of other makes in the time, but I always come back to the Dario. These are warm, slightly warmer strings than, I believe these are, I shouldn't say it as a fact. In my opinion, these are warmer than the Dario's, which if you're playing a Collings, which people tend to regard as bright, is probably a good idea. Um, the um, the Dario's, I would say, were somewhere in the middle, with these being somewhat brighter, um, which might well suit Martin guitars better. Yeah, um, they're all perfectly good guitar, uh, guitar strings, and mandolin strings, and banjo strings, and all sorts of other stuff. Um, 
I know that the SPs are being discontinued and I bought a, pair of, a set of those but I haven't actually experimented with them as yet. <coughs> uh, I have also started using these on my arch tops and my um, mandolin, nickel bronze, uh, which um, don't corrode um, as much as um, bronze or phosphor bronze. Why do I use bronze? Uh, why do I use phosphor bronze rather than bronze? I prefer the look of them and I prefer the way that they age. Um, for me, bronze tend to go off rather, um, go on very, very bright, and then they go to mid-range, uh, whereas the phosphor bronze, the transient, is more slow. Um, uh, have I mentioned Elixir? If I haven't, let's mention Coated Strings now. This is a great option for people that have acid sweat, um, or that don't, who don't like changing strings, and um, you know, Elixir and those other people that do coated strings say that they give extended life. I personally don't subscribe to that. They don't give me extended life. Um, and I find that they are... I, I, I feel that they're a little bit duller than uncoated strings, but I don't have acid sweat, so therefore uh, I don't need them. And so I don't need to pay that extra cost for them. Uh, I have changed, I changed my strings. My, how long does a string uh, last? Between one hour and one year. And, um, and for me, that means two to three months on um, a flat top, um, 12 string, maybe three to four months. Um, on my arch tops, more like six months. Uh, my mandolin and my dobro, which I'm not using much at the moment, usually about three, three months. Um, and this one just goes on forever. In fact, it sounds better with strings that have gone a little bit dead on a flat top. So there we are. There are other sorts of strings. There are, um, uh, there are new tones, which are round core, and, um, and so are slightly less attention uh, which doesn't appeal to me, but um, they're very well-made strings and I have used them a lot. They used to make custom strings for my 12 string and for my old national, uh, but I don't need that reduced tension. But everybody has their own opinion, uh, um, opinion and experiences. If you play very lightly, you may get away with a lighter gauge string. I only do use light or mediums. I don't use heavies. I used to use heavies on 12 strings and um, and nationals, but it really wasn't necessary. I can't get on with extra lights uh, or ultra lights, but I know somebody that plays an OM finger style beautifully, and um, he plays, I believe, extra lights. Uh, it depends on your body chemistry. It depends on your style, it de depends on the size of the guitar, uh, it depends on the frequency of playing and the conditions in which you play them. All of those variables. And it is down to you to find out what is the optic optimum for you. But I would say on a guitar smaller than a dread, um, begin with light gauge strings and um, with a dread or a jumbo medium gauge. I hope that helps. Um, it won't be the right answer for all sorts um, of different reasons. Let's have a conversation below. Um, tell me what your concerns. Tell me whether you agree or disagree um, down down uh, underneath this video, and I will gladly respond to you. So, if you have been, thanks for watching. Bye.